Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Renslow and I'm running for state representative in Indiana House District 3, which is about a third of Gary, all of Lake Station, all of New Chicago, and all of Northwest Hobart. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to check your voter registration status or register as a brand new voter. Today happens to be Monday, May 4th, 2020, which is the last day in which you can do both of these activities. Now you may wonder, why do I need to check my registration status? I've been a voter for years. Well, there's been a lot of changes on the state level over the last couple of years where they have uh, dumped people off of the lists and for being quote unquote delinquent Democrats, which was never really defined by the state. Uh, there's also been a lot going on with our precinct organizations where we were consolidated in Lake County. So again, it's just good to check your status. It takes about a minute. And it's just better to know so you don't have any surprises on June 2nd if you choose to vote in person or on May 21st if you choose to request an absentee ballot. If you go to my website, renslow4rep.com, that's R-E-N-S-L-O-W, the numeral 4, R-E-P.com, I have provided a lot of useful information for voters about voting in general, my platform, to learn a little bit, a little bit more about me. My day job, I happen to be an educational technologist slash instructional designer and business strategist. So I do a lot of remote education and online courses. Click on more, go down to voting. You can check your status by clicking on the check your status here link. And I'll take you to the state's portal. All you gotta do is check your registration record. You type in your name. First name, last name, birth date, select your county that you live in, submit. Double check the information, click continue. Um, you can do a two-way authentication, which is a good idea. For time purposes, we're not going to do that today. So I'll just click no on that. And then you will be taken to your information. So if you're active, you're good to go. Uh, tell your township, your precinct, where to vote on a second. You can even get directions, which is good. Actually get a map since your polling place may have changed. Um, you can also see who is on your ballot, which is good to know. You do have a lot of options for first district Congress. Uh, Mr. Senator Melton's running unopposed. Then you just have two options for state representative. I really recommend that you research your candidates and read up on their platforms, issue papers, and everything that they've actually put out in the public. You can also check vote411.org for more info. So let's say you're not registered or you're not on the list anymore. So if you go to rentsloferrep.com, how you'd find that out is you click on the more, go down to voting information, Click check, click here on the check your status button. Go to check your registration record. Well, let's just say I'll use one of my favorite book characters from childhood, Anne Shirley. I'll say she's a Fourth of July baby. And click submit. So now we're just doing this as a practice and you can see she is obviously not in the system. So her information entered, we cannot find you. So you could either call the election board and double check with them. They're really busy these days. And since it's the last day to register, I would just go to register to vote personally. And it's quick, it takes a few minutes. You check your eligibility. Can you do all of this? Do you have a valid Indiana driver's license or state ID? Are you a citizen of the US? Well, you'll be at least 18 by the general election, which is important because if you have a 17 year old in your life and they will be 18 by November's general election, they can vote in the primary this year. And uh, have you lived in your precinct 30 days? And are you currently imprisoned after being convicted of a crime? So if you're currently in prison, you cannot vote right now in the state of Indiana. And so then you would review and acknowledge and you do your secure information and then it would just be those easy steps and you'd be registered. 
So after doing the survey for your eligibility, you'd click continue and you'd go on with your process. So what happens if you're a totally brand new voter and you just want to register? I'll go to renslow4rep.com, click on the more button, go down to voting info, go to register to vote, click on the here, go over here to the state site, apply now, and then you would answer that same survey question. Make sure you got those IDs out and ready. And then just put your first name, your last name, your driver's license, or your state ID number. You click accept, and then you begin a new registration. After you checked your eligibility, you would do your voter information. You'd review and acknowledge, and then you'd do your secure information. And it would take about five minutes. And again, you gotta do that today, May 4th, 2020. That's super important at 11.59 p.m. So it's really just those easy steps to become a registered voter in the state of Indiana. And if you have any more interest in finding out more about me, you can see quotes, my background, the map of the district, videos I've done, activities I've been involved in, advocates I've, that I work with. Uh, you can find out more about my background. Here's a picture with me and my family. My nieces and nephews, aren't they cute? And my brothers and sisters. And I also have information about the coronavirus, specifically for House District 3, and uh, where you can get more information, articles, things about our schools, store hours, how to help our local businesses. Uh, you can order a sign if you'd like one. They're out and about now. We're having a lot of fun going all over Gary Lake Station, New Chicago, and Hobart. We've got about 100 signs left, but we've put about 300 out so far. So getting the word out. You can read up on my platform. I've got papers coming out, issues papers each week. So you can read up more on me and you go there. You've got the whole spiel, all the research I've done. And if you were interested in volunteering, we will definitely need volunteers, stuffing letters, all that kind of stuff. And you can see more info about me, read up on articles, radio programs I've done. Um, stuff about my campaign. These are articles just about the volunteer work I've done in the communities. You can see the events that we had before the stay at home order. We had quite a few. And uh, who's endorsed me already? Clara Lake Station Mayor, that awesome community advocate Penny Love out in Gary's Etna community. I've got Richie Perez, education advocate from New Chicago. I've got Steve Kissel, education advocate from Hobart. I've got Lake Station Councilman. Neil Anderson. We've got a lot more endorsements dropping soon. And then you can also take our Indiana House District 3 survey, where we ask you about what you'd like to see happen in our district. It's very important to have a plan that's strategic and encompasses the entire district on the state level. You can look, read more about my actual campaign announcement here. Voting information, that last button. So please check your voter registration status today. And if you are interested in finding out anything more about me, check out renslow4rep.com. I've got a phone number at 219-292-2200. And I can also be contacted at info at renslow4rep.com. Have a wonderful day. Funded by the Friends of Jessica Renslow.